Hi, I'm Juan Hindo, and today I'll be showing you how you can become a World Community Grid member. As you'll see, it only takes a few minutes and it's really easy. The first step is go to your browser and go to the World Community Grid website. That's at worldcommunitygrid.org. From the home page, if you scroll down to the How You Can Help section and click on the Join Today button, you're now at the registration page. The first thing you're going to do is pick a member name for yourself. I'm going to select my name, Juan Hindo. You also want to check that no one else has used that member name. So click on Is This Name Available link. In my case, it's available. If yours isn't, just go ahead and pick a different one. Select your password. And make sure that the email address you enter here is a valid email address. If you get stuck at any point or want any kind of tips, you can go to any of the question marks next to the appropriate fields. World Community Grid may periodically email you with some updates and news. You may want to opt out of that by unchecking this uh, checkbox. Otherwise, just leave it as it is. Once you've reviewed the license agreement and you're happy with it, go ahead and check the, uh, tick the checkbox under the end user software license agreement section. Now you're ready to continue. Next, you'll be taken to the available projects page. Here you can actually select which projects you like your com computer to contribute to. There's a whole range of projects. You can click on each one and find out more information about them. Or if you don't have any preferences, go ahead and select the participate in all projects. This will make sure that your computer will just pick whatever available work uh, that projects are currently running on. You'll notice that some of the projects will have specific system requirements. You may want to review those requirements before selecting those projects just to make sure that your, your computer can actually participate. Once you've made your selections and read the note at the bottom, you can continue. You will automatically be selected for the version of the software that you would want to uh, download. This is selected based on the operating system that your computer is, whether it's Windows or Mac and so on. If you don't want to download the automatically selected version, you can click on the Click Here link and select the version that you actually want to download. Before you go ahead and begin the download, go ahead and read all the information on this page, um, including the note at the bottom of the page. It has some useful tips for you that may help you during the installation process. Once you're ready and you've reviewed all the information, go ahead and click Download Now. You want to save the file. And once it's saved, you want to open it and begin the installation process. This will only take a few minutes. Just follow the instructions that you see on the screen. They're fairly straightforward and self-explanatory. Once you're ready, click install and the installation process will begin. Depending on your connection speed, this could take a few minutes, so just be patient. Once the installation is complete, you're going to want to launch the Boink Manager. This is the software that World Community Grid uses to actually allow you to participate. Now you'll be given an opportunity to re-enter the username and password that you signed up with. So go ahead and do that. Click Next and your account will be set up with the World Community Grid. And you will also receive a confirmation that your projects have been associated with your account. Click Finish, and you are now effectively a World Community Grid member. Congratulations.